All right, a lot of you, and it's a requirement, need to back up your files on a thumb drive. Here's how you do it. You can use this thing right here. This one in particular is 16 gigabytes, which is pretty good. Let's see if you can get focused here. It's uh, You need a minimum of eight, I would get, because you're gonna be dealing with big files. Now, you can use this on a laptop, um, a PC, a Mac. You guys can back this up on anything. So you open this up right here. After you have opened this, you insert it inside here it can go this way or the other way all right depending don't force it so after you have inserted it <clears throat> it's got another opening here they also have openings on the side oh, of course not this one so this one does this one has them on the side you might have it on your television or your playstation on your xbox they're also in the back of your PC as well. Back here, you're gonna see this exact port here. It's called the Universal Serial Bus. So, with the reason it's called the US, USB is for that abbreviation, Universal Serial Bus. Now in here, there's the folder. You're gonna open this folder in Windows 10. So I'm just gonna give you the full screen here so you can see what's up. I'm just gonna go through the screen slow. Open up this little folder in here and you guys are used to seeing this directory here. In this particular one, you're going to go to this PC. If it's not drop menu, you go to this PC. And then after you're on this PC, this one's a Lexar. It might say scan disk. It might say, um, uh, it might say a few different brands. This one's a Lexar. All right. So you open up the Lexar and basically it's dead empty. It's in the D drive and it's empty. Here's his graphic design folder on his desktop. Literally click and drag it to your D drive and let it go, it's going to back everything up. It's that easy. Now, while that's backing up, let it keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Alrighty then. Now, and by the way, he did awesome. Andy Warhol has all three of them. He's got everything, the car design has the one. He's up to the color focal points. He's got five done. And the zombie project, he did the one. He's working hard. He's doing well, and he backed this stuff up. All you have to do is X out of this now. Let's check and make sure it was done right. Go into the folder. You go into this PC. It even has a shortcut. When you go to this PC, it opens up right here. It shows his graphic design. All this stuff's perfect. Now, let's say it's another day. All right, uh, let's say the bell rang rather. He's got to go. Okay, I got to get out of here. You click on this little thing right here and you hit this and it says eject flash drive, safe to remove. Okay, great. So I'm taking it out and that's it. Now, another day comes, I got to put it in. It's time to work. I backed up my stuff, okay? All right, I inserted it. I'm looking good. You know what? I worked all day today. So I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna bother with anything. So I'm just gonna, my graphic design folder, let's just say it was already backed up. Let's say that I worked all day today and I fixed my Andy Warhol project. Okay, great. So with that said, now that my Andy Warhol project is done, I wanna back it up, no problem. Open up your file again, go into your D drive. Here's my old one, here's the old one. Once again, go into the folder. Go into the D drive, here's my old one. Literally, just take the whole folder, click on here, replace the files in this destination. You could do that. And that'll replace everything. Or you could do it a different way, which is a little bit faster because once your portfolio gets really, really big, this is the smartest way that you should do it, the way that I'm about to show you right now. Let's say that I only edited my Andy Warhol project. Open up in here open up in here this is on your desktop because it tells me when I go up this is my desktop this one is my D drive all right this one's my desktop take Andy Warhol only drop and drag replace the file it'll be a lot shorter of a load time and then you can do it piece by piece when you get into web design you're gonna appreciate this because file by file is gonna get a replaced to save a lot of time you ain't gonna replace a whole website when you upload a file that would be crazy. All right. So this is building the skills you need to save your stuff, back up your stuff, and get up to web design so you have proper file management. 
All right. Now, how do I eject this? Go into this little area here. Hit the USB icon, eject it, safe to remove. Pull it out, close it up, and that's it. You're gonna get two of them. One is for keeping at home, and the other one is for um, traveling and backing up all your stuff. The one you keep at home, you never lose, and you put it somewhere very, very safe, away from water and a good room temperature. Otherwise, that's about it. You guys have uh, the gist of everything. Okay, good luck.